now that we are done with creating the index the last and the most important thing is to uh, search the data that we have indexed so these are the classes that are important uh, for initializing the search code so we pass the query or the expression to the query parser and query parser is responsible for creating the query object and you know determining what kind of uh, search would be applied on this query and analyzer works with query parser too because the way the, the content of the data was analyzed say in the same way the query should be analyzed too I mean if someone enters capital letters or stop words like off on then uh, you know analyzer should analyze those things just like it did in uh, while processing the text uh, so let us look at the code and let us see what kind of searches does Lucene give us and how does it work so this code has been taken again from uh, the official Lucene website uh, so this index string points us to the directory where the uh, index was written the field is equal to contents because remember while creating uh, the index we had created a field that was named as contents and we stored the text content in it and uh, yeah so uh, before I demonstrate the code let me walk you through it so that we have a better understanding so the code for search is very similar to the code for indexing we are initializing a reader we initialize the writer in index file we are initializing a reader here and it uh, reads from the uh, index directory the reader is used for initializing the index searcher this is the class which will make the final search call and then there is this analyzer so the analyzer and the field are passed to the query parser and that's how the parser object is initialized and then the parser query parser passes the string the query string and that's it then we call the do search method this is a user defined method let me show you what happens so in do search method the most important statement is uh, this line so uh, it is searcher dot search so index writer is making the final search call it uh, passes the query and the number of uh, uh, hits uh, uh, to get the results the number of hits is just a pagination thing it's a pagination feature that Lucene gives us so it's not relevant here don't worry about it and the rest of the part of the code is just to print the logs in the correct format so again not relevant to us so the most important statement is this now let us see what kind of searches this Lucene offer so first one is regular search uh, regular search is as the, it's the term query so let me just fire the program and see what happens ok so uh, we search for computer on those news articles and uh, here is the result so crime one uh, is the most relevant uh, text file according to the program let us see if crime one contains computer at all yes computer is mentioned a lot of times so we can safely assume that the results were correct now let us look the next type of query this is called wildcard query so what is wildcard uh, suppose the query is t e star t then star would be replaced by all the possible characters and it's like a regular expression sort of and then all those uh, obtained terms uh, would be searched in the database and uh, um, the results would be unified so well, let us see if it works mm -hmm. 
yes it is it has given us some results let us see mm, 0 9273 so let me first search for T E star T let me see if it, it is there no it's not there that means something else was there and that's a good thing actually it shouldn't be there that's not a valid term okay so test is there and that's why the document was on the top so you see wildcard works t star t was not there but test was and it, that's why it came in the uh, results so next type of query is fuzzy query what is fuzzy query it is based on levenstein distance we use Levenstein distance to uh, correct the spellings of words or to find similar words. It's a very famous algorithm. You can check it out on the internet. So here there is a particular format that Lucene follows. Uh, the term followed by the symbol and then the actual Levenstein distance we are looking for. So Rome can be form or roams or forms you know words which are similar to it so so let us run this code and see what happens okay so there is test file.txt on top and this is because i have created it for the demonstration purpose so you see form forms roams form forms roams these are the only words there in this file and it was on the top mind that there is no mention of rom it's only foam forms and roms and it's still this was at the top that just proves that fuzzy search works now let us come to the phrase query so when you uh, simply type a sentence for a query Lucene breaks down the entire sentence into tokens and then search but if we want two words to be together in the document then we can use phrase query in that and please mind the inverted commas inverted commas are the part of the query and if we remove them then it is another uh, term query and there is an extension to phrase query it is called proximity search so we can specify that Apache and Lucene can lie in a, a certain proximity of each other and still that would be a valid document so in this we are we have mentioned that proximity can be 5 so let us see you know, what do we get ok it's test file 2 again a file created by me so Apache is a great organization Lucene so Apache and Lucene has a distance of four words between them and that's why I think the it came in the results now let me insert few more words here and perform the query again let us see what happens so let me first refresh my index and now let us search so ideally Ideally, there should be no matching documents and there is no matching documents. So, that proves that phrase query also works pretty well. Another type of query is boolean search. So, boolean search is the regular logical um, expression. Uh, we have AND operator, we have OR operator and we have uh, not operator we have a plus operator which is called required term so all these have the standard meaning as you know and uh, please mind the inverted commas again without inverted commas it is just another term query so here we are searching for networks and protocol so a document which contains both of these words would be the only document which is which is valid so let me search and see so no there is no document which has networks and protocols both 
so let me create one and show you that it does work so you see there is a file which has only networks and still it did not appear in the result now let me put let me put protocol in it Let me refresh my index. And let us search again. So yes, test file 3 is now there because in test file 3 there are both of the required terms, protocol and networks. And that proves that boolean search works pretty well. So you see we are changing only the query string, nothing else. And still uh, the program is successfully able to determine that uh, what kind of search we are looking for so all credit goes to query parser and index writer they um, automatically detects passes the query in the right way and determines what kind of search we are looking for and the final uh, type of query is boosted query boosted search is what is boosted search suppose there is a sentence a query sentence and there are many terms in it but there are few terms which are more relevant to, to me so um, we can increase the relevance of uh, those terms by boosting them and we use the power operator for that so here you see we are searching for computer crime but uh, we are um, boosting crime by 100 so let us see if it works ok there are a few results so crime 1 is on top and then menace so um, I showed you in the beginning also crime1.txt it's the same file um, but probably crime is uh, mentioned there too many times now let us so remember the first three results crime 1 menace and mism 6 now let me change the query a little bit and see if the result changes so this is now we are boosting computer by 10 remember the first three results crime 1 menace and mism 6 and let us see what happens now ok ok so crime 1 and mism 6 so you see menace is gone the results have changed and that shows that boosted search is actually working so that's it guys uh, this is pretty much all about Lucene uh, we have seen how to create index we have seen how to search we have seen all the kinds of searches and uh, uh, you see how powerful Lucene is it can make anything searchable and it provides us these amazing APIs to um, search in various you know in various forms